What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to some FIFA 13 demo play. I'm at GamesCon in Germany with Kafrizi, KSI, and a few other people, and uh, we got the, the privilege of recording some footage of the FIFA 13 demo. This is obviously an early build, guys, so this may not reflect the, the final demo completely, but um, it's definitely uh, close to what you're going to get in the full game. And let me tell you something about this game, guys. I'm really, really impressed with what they've done with FIFA 13 so far. The first touch control, I absolutely love. It's going to add such an excellent dimension to FIFA. Uh, and I think the, the bronze and silver teams in Ultimate Team specifically are really, really going to suffer with this uh, first touch. You're going to see a lot less skillers um, with silver teams now because the first touch is going to be deadly important. And the, the gold players or players with high ball control are obviously going to be the players that are, are far more effective in this game with the first touch control. I'm not saying the first touch is everything, uh, but it's definitely going to be important. Pace is, is going to be... Not as not as important this time. We've been speaking to a few of the EA developers, and um, basically, fitness is going to be completely different now. So if you if you pace for for the whole game, you're going to know about it towards the the middle to back end of the game, when your players are going to be absolutely dead on their feet, and that of course in turn is going to make their first touch and their ball control worse. So pace whoring isn't going to be as as used overused as it is in FIFA 12. The gameplay in general, guys plays really, really realistic. It's one of the most realistic FIFAs I've ever played and definitely one of the most enjoyable FIFAs I've ever played. And uh, the graphics, as per usual with FIFA, are pretty outstanding. Um, unfortunately, this footage, guys, is recorded just from a like a HD camera. It's not the, like recorded from an Elgato or HD PVR. Uh, but hopefully it's still good enough for you guys to see on the screen and it's, it looks pretty clear on my screen. Um, just a few other things about the game. I've been speaking to uh, Marcel, who did, develops FIFA Ultimate Team, and uh, I'm going to get an interview with him today or tomorrow, guys, and I'm going to talk to him about some awesome Ultimate Team features that are coming and some stuff that maybe we'll see in 14 or FIFA 15, and some things that have been removed from FIFA 12. And if, you, if you've got any questions you'd like me to ask him, make sure you put them in the comment section, and I'll get as many questions in as possible. Uh, as for now, though, guys, just with this FIFA gameplay, we've come to a hard time here. I'm I'm Dortmund, and I'm playing against Cal Frizi. He's Man City, and uh, th this game, as you, you'll see with the the stats that are on the on the screen now, because I was absolutely bossing the game. Sorry, Cal, I was bossing you the game. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, th this game will be heavily, heavily based around passing and possession football. I'm not going to say that you're not going to be able to use pace and you're not going to be able to s use skills. But you're going to have to use them at the right time, guys, because this game is really, really just, it's important to keep possession. You can see by the few passages of play that I've put into this uh, video, just how important it is for the passing and the moving um, within the game. And one thing in terms of the moving within the game, guys, that the, uh, the AI makes some incredible runs in FIFA 13. That They've really done a great job on the AI, defensively and offensively, but you will notice it instantly offensively, just how how clever the runs are, and of course they curb their runs to stay on side. They do make runs to try and get in behind the defence, and so on and so forth, and it, it really is just a, an enjoyable game to play. I've been asked a lot about contained defending, guys. Contained defending is still in the game. However, they have toned it down to the point where you can actually sell the defender a dummy and get by them with a skill move, or by just a simple, like, uh, using the left trigger, right trigger to use your um, skill dribble. Uh, or as they call it now, precision dribble, and just get past the defender like that. But contain is still somewhat effective. It's not even near as bad as it was before, but it is somewhat effective. So here we go, guys. We've got one of the first goals that uh, Calfrizi has scored. A nice little cheeky rebound there with, uh, I think that was Tevez. He scored it with it was. And I managed to get a goal back in the 80, 88th minute. So a little bit of scripting going on. I'm joking, please. I'm joking. Don't don't call me on that. I don't feel, I don't feel like there's any any kind of momentums or shifts or anything like that in this game. It feels just like a solid game, just a, a nice one, you know, me v cow. There, there was, didn't feel like there was any uh, anything else going on in the game other than what I was doing and what he was doing, which is exactly what you want to feel from a game. So I'm going to leave you with just the end of the penalty shootout between myself and Cal Freezy, guys. If you can hit that like button, it would be absolutely amazing. If you want more FIFA 13 comment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll try and get up as much early stuff as possible. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.